What's going on, everybody? I haven't decided if I'm gonna title this video, it's the simplest things or troubleshooting the velocity or what yet. But if you're not familiar, this is one of my uh, friend's clients, Velocity. Um, he flies it quite a bit. Uh, he is a radiologist and he has a practice uh, up in Dallas, so he flies back and forth uh, probably a couple times a month. So this airplane does get flown a considerable amount. Um, it has a TSIO 5, not a TSIO, sorry. It has an IO 550 on it. Um, it just came back from the Velocity factory not too long ago. It was painted. They redid the panel. They redid a bunch of things. I'm pretty sure this door is locked, but yeah, that door's locked. Um, so anyways, it had been sitting because it had a little prop issue. I did a short with that. I can't remember if I made a video out of it, um, but we fixed the prop. That's now back on. We would just start it and it wouldn't start. Um, so went through the whole process of troubleshooting the mags following emags uh troubleshooting guide and check the timing they're all calibrated correctly they're set up correctly it just it just wouldn't start uh for whatever reason so to the point where we pretty much ran the battery dead trying to get it to to start um and finally i went home and got a charger for it and now this is the issue um with some of these chargers let me come around here to the front of the aircraft i'll probably cut this walking piece out these Concord chargers are great for topping a battery off or plugging it in when it's in the hangar, but these these don't really these don't really charge the battery very well. If it's below um, a certain number, you will still need a legitimate battery charger, which is not what was on it. So I, I put a legitimate battery charger on it after t speaking to a tech rep at um, Emag, and he told me that if the if the voltage drops too low while cranking while you're on the starter and cranking that it will sort of uh, put the mags in their safe mode and they won't fire. So we've charged the battery. I'm gonna go ahead and push it out and I'm gonna see if it will fire up and I'll take you with me. Okay, I've got it on engine instruments right now. Mags are up here, starters here. Um, I'm just gonna try to set you in my lap and I'll see if I can get this thing to light off. Claire! Claire! It popped. Let's give it a little bit more fuel, not much. Where? All right, you know what? I have an idea. I'm sorry. I, I put the jump box on it because I noticed the voltage was getting low and sure enough, it started immediately. Interesting. I don't know what all you heard there, um, but it popped a couple of times, then it quit. I was looking at the voltmeter, it was dropping below about 10. The tech rep the other day told me that if it's below 10, it won't crank or it won't fire. So I got out real quick. I put the charger on it and did like a charge start. It has like a 100 amp charge start feature. Um, so I connected that, put it on 100 amp, got in, cranked it, and as soon as I hit the starter, it lit off. And I just wasn't recording when that happened because I wasn't sure if it was gonna light off or not. But once it lit off, I just, I kept it running because I didn't want to shut it back down and then just shut it down just to film me starting it, pretend that I was starting it for the first time, so I didn't do that. So now I gotta finagle this cowling and try to get this cowling on um, all by myself. I've kind of been going through here. He's been having some issues with some different like loose fuel lines and things. So I've been going through it and kind of putting on a wrench on everything and make sure that every single thing is tight. Like you can see this is uh, loose. So I'll tighten that up. Um, but anyways, yes, the point of this is sometimes it is the simplest things and you've reached the end of the troubleshooting guide and you're like man i just i don't know what's going on sometimes it can be as simple as a dead battery this is i think the only drawback for me with having two emags um you don't have a traditional impulse coupling self-generating magneto on there to start it um so if you have a low voltage below 10 while you're cranking it won't start uh experimental you can do that i do want to say these are not sure flies these are emag uh called the tech rep they were very very supportive in, in helping me diagnose what the issue was 
Um, he gave me way more information than I needed for troubleshooting, but I always appreciate that. I always appreciate people that are a wealth of knowledge that give you as much as you could possibly ever want or hope for instead of saying, well, try this and then call me back. Um, but yeah, we got it running, we got it started. I told him it may need a battery. It sat in Florida at the factory for a long time getting rebuilt. Um, he's been flying it though. He hasn't really used a jump box, so it could be just from cranking it. I don't know. It may need a battery, it may not. I've got it back on the battery charger now. I'm just gonna leave it on the charger. There's no harm in leaving it on the charger. If it kicks off or if it gets too low, the charger will kick off and fill it back up. And hopefully when he comes out here to fly it again, it'll be ready to go for him. So I'm gonna get this cowling back on and then I'm gonna discuss some of the future plans of this thing with you trying to find the best lighting for my ugly mug so it is all in one piece again i i love this airplane um it's one of the few airplanes that i have on my client list uh, that doesn't actually need a whole lot i do a condition inspection on it and then most of the year it just flies and does what the owner needs to do or needs it to do without a lot of complaints so that's that's a lot of fun i i do enjoy that um, and that was even before it went to the velocity factory so here you go. It is. It's done. I realized it was probably a short video. Um, I'm not doing a lot right now. I haven't had a whole lot going on with my side business working on airplanes. Um, it's been a very busy, busy time of the year at home and not so busy that like I'm constantly doing something. Just that when I do finally have a free moment, all I want to do is sit on the couch and watch like a stupid movie or just sit there and do nothing, which there's nothing wrong with. But at any rate, it's done. It's put back together. I am now going to go to work. If you enjoyed the video or if you stayed to this point, might as well leave me a like and leave me a comment. As always, I ask that you subscribe, go build something, and be easy.